Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is something I've hyped up to myself a lot, so we're gonna see if it's actually worth it. So, if you guys saw my recent unfiltered opinions on new makeup releases, I talked about the cool new KBD Beauty branding. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was really cool, and I love tattoos, so I thought the tattoo artwork and everything was cool. And then we discussed the foundation balm, the Good Apple Foundation Balm, and I was like talking about how I thought it was cool that it's recycled packaging. You can use 100% of the product. I've never used a balm before. I've never heard of a foundation bomb before so when this came out that day I went to the Ulta picked it up and I'm gonna review it for you today we're gonna see how I think of it or what I think of it anyways so this is the lightest shade light 002 there are 40 shades of this foundation it has X apple extract in it supposed to be good for minimizing pores and good for your skin it's supposed to be a full coverage foundation it retails for $38 Right off the bat, let me go ahead and critique, even though I'm not allowed to, the fact that the fair shades are not very good for this. There's like, this is like the really fair light shade for it, which is very fair, but anything in between this can be slightly darker. You just have to go to like a sand color next, so I would definitely work on the range there on that side. The deeper end looks really nice too compared to other brands, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and test this out. So after tax, it came out to like 40 dollars and 87 cents at Ulta and let's go ahead and get started you guys also one thing I want to mention because I forgot to mention it later on in the video already is this is 10 grams of product or 0.35 ounces which is like a third of what normal foundations have so this little compact you can use 100% of the product which I think is really good because in pump bottles you can't get all of everything out of it but you're getting way less because the normal foundation has one ounce of product. This is like a third of that. So difference there, not too much product. It's kind of expensive for not having that much product in it. But if it looks beautiful and it's good for your skin, it minimizes pores and stuff, maybe it's worth it. So let's go ahead and get started with the try on portion of the video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I've really hyped this up to myself. I saw it when it first got announced and then I saw it and I talked about it again in my unfiltered opinions video. So I like had to have it. So this is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. It comes to this cute little box with an apple on it. I got the lightest shade light 002 because the light 004 which was the next shade they had in store looked a little more on the sandy kind of color side so i went ahead and just got the lightest one i figured if it was too fair for me i could just bronze it up so this is the packaging it's like a cute little compact packaging it's like it's supposed to be recyclable material plastic and then here it is this packaging to me looks like a lab stamp i'm not sure i like it but i like the design of the filigree on it so far and then here is the balm itself. It's just a smooth balm. I thought there would be like a cover on it, but there's not. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm excited. My face is primed right now with the First Aid Beauty Hyaluronic Acid Primer. My skin is very dry on my forehead and a couple spots on my face, but I didn't want to try like this out two weeks later. hoping my skin gets moisturized. I just want to go ahead and try it out. Some people have really dry skin like myself, so we'll see if it works. I don't know how much I need, so I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to keep get a good amount of product up there. That looks like a good amount, right? I didn't really make a dent in this balm so far. Let's see if I can... <laughs> okay, it picked up a lot more on the sponge than I expected. I mean, I know it's supposed to be full coverage. But let's just add one layer. It's really light, but I can bronze it up. It's not a big deal. And see what I get. Okay, so I have it all over my lip and stuff. I always do that. And let's see my face up close. So here it is. So the place in my face where it's dry, like right here on my nose and on my forehead, it doesn't look fantastic. It looks like it's just kind of sitting on the skin waiting to move around and break up on me. The places on my skin where I don't have like a lot of dryness actually look pretty good right now. So I think it's going to be okay. Like... The parts of my skin that are dry is not looking good, but maybe after powder and everything and setting spray, it'll look a little better. So I look really pale in the face right now. I'm going to go ahead and do concealer and powder. I'm going to use the Fenty Butter Powder and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then we'll see how it looks after it's finished with powder because the powder makes a huge difference to me when I finally see it. Of course, like after blush highlight, everything it looks better too, but we're just going to see how it looks powdered down. Okay, so my face is powdered, and I must say the parts of my skin that are dry look not good. But the parts of my skin that are like this and stuff that are not really dry look good. But then like forehead, my nose, 
down here where it's really dry looks very textured but the parts of my skin that are normal look really nice like i like the coverage on it because it's it's full coverage it's it's more of a medium to full coverage it's more on the full coverage end but has a little bit medium to it so i can still see the skin texture and skin that i have it doesn't look super super fake like some full coverage foundations do so i'm really liking the finish of it on the parts of my skin that aren't super dry <laughs> right now so i'm gonna go bronze contour blush highlight everything finish my face i'll be right back and then we'll see it all put together because i feel like that makes a huge difference all right guys so i'm back and my face is fully done now so let's take a look now honestly this everything looks pretty good it's my forehead and my nose where i feel like it doesn't look great like you can see all my dryness but like where it's not really dry i feel like it looks pretty freaking good like it looks nice now i do wish the shade range was better i just feel like there is some things lacking on the fair end i know that nowadays it is like pivotal i mean it should have always been pivotal to make a really good dark range and i feel like they did a good job on that however k beauty used to have really good fair shades with different undertones and stuff and i feel like they're really lacking in the fair department for their shade line i'm sorry it just is what it is i know i'm not allowed to complain about things not being fair blah 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 but having just one pale shade like this one which is really pale there needs to be other tones in between that just before they get to straight up yellow so <laughs> i feel like that's what's needed i like how it looks so far like it looks pretty good other than my forehead which looks super super dry and gross but i don't know if any foundation is really gonna make that look great so we're gonna do a wear test now because i feel like we need to do a proper test of this balm to see if the balm is gonna get all oily and gross throughout the day or if it's gonna stay patted down and stuff because i don't know i've never used a balm before and i just feel like it might not last that well so we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and do the wear time test now it is 10 40 in the morning so it's been on for about 20 minutes so let's say 10 30 ish and i'll see you the rest of the day all right so let me show you what it looks like in natural lighting really quick forehead very textured the rest of it looks pretty good now this is supposed to be like apple extracts to help minimize pores and everything I don't have any major pores besides on the sides of my nose and those look decently good so that could be doing its thing right now I'm just really interested in how long it's going to last so I mean it's supposed to be good for your skin we'll see okay so we ran errands I had to wear a mask and stuff so my nose is not looking great my forehead still isn't perfect but the rest of my face looks pretty good even though it's been very hot today this is this is man's <laughs> um, but yeah, so far so good. It is two o'clock, so it's been on for like four and a half hours now. Other than my nose, my forehead, it looks it looks good. All right, guys. So I am back. It is the end of the day. It has been seven and a half hours since I originally put this on this morning, and I'm gonna show you my skin up close. So this is what I'm looking like: dry forehead. Everything else looks okay except my nose. I did wear a mask because we were gonna do errands and stuff, so I feel like I rubbed off a little bit of that myself. Um everything else looks okay so let me like examine my face up close other than in the viewfinder thing yeah like the parts of my face that are dry i see it the parts of my face like this side where i don't have too much dryness going on in my chin and stuff it looks okay honestly like it looks fine i do like it looks okay right other than the dry skin if you have oily skin i think it actually held it pretty well it didn't get too oily for me even though it's been very hot today i do think that it's not worth the price tag considering you're getting like a third of the amount of product you would for a normal foundation but i like how it looks and i like the like i, like, I want more foundation bombs it should be a trend that people do now because like i can use every bit of this product right just probably more product would be great and has a nice finish to its full coverage and i can control like what i'm dipping into because sometimes i do a pump and it's too much and i have to like try to spread it over my face this stuff like i can really control what i'm using the coverage on it is really good for being more of like a cream product it's really nice and it didn't get too oily so overall i think it's pretty good you guys pretty good like it's not best for super super dry skin but i feel like when it's more summery time outside and it's warmer my skin will be less dry every day and it'll look better so anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video if this had more product in it, I would definitely recommend it. It's just for the price tag, it's way, it should have more product, you know? But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have an awesome day.